So I want to ask you about um, how you felt growing up that we, that mom and dad were always around because we were business people. We were entrepreneurs and we, we were working from home most of the time or we would bring you to our events, remember? And we would even include you in brainstorming and stuff like that. Yeah. Do you have, how do you feel about that kind of life? I know mm-hmm. that some of your classmates maybe had parents who were in corporate or maybe other types of jobs like doctors or something, but you really grew up in that atmosphere we're in. We were, we practically, we run our own companies and you would go to the office and hung out there and see us at work leading our business and our, our employees. What are your memories of that as me being a mompreneur? Uh, no, yeah, I, I loved it. I loved it. Um, even though you wouldn't directly tell me what was going on with your business and everything, I felt like I was included. Um, and I feel like, and I feel like that made us closer. I, it helped our relationship even better. Just having, like, knowing every all, knowing all your coworkers and stuff like that. Seeing your office, seeing how your business is run, seeing your events, being included in all that stuff as a kid made me feel more included in your life in general. Because I feel like other parents who are corporate, they do their nine to five and then they come home. They don't really talk to their kids about work, right? obviously mm-hmm. so the the kids have no idea what's going on right it's not like they're mm-hmm. gonna tell them about whatever happened so um even though i was a kid it's even though you wouldn't directly tell me what happened at work i felt like i knew it was happening or i felt like mm-hmm. oh my parents are doing something cool or this is what, yeah this is like what you know yeah i just felt i just felt more included i felt more like I felt like you were just tell- you were telling me how okay this is how work is, just even just by having it at home or like just seeing it as a kid, seeing how everything is as a kid, because you guys made work look so fun. I feel like mm-hmm. growing up, I feel like this is how a job should be. Mm-hmm. Uh, a job is supposed to be, the job you're supposed to have, you're supposed to love it, right? You're not supposed to get a nine to five job and then settle. You know what I mean? You guys obviously love your jobs right now. Um, so I feel like that's something that I want to work towards, especially when I get older, right? I want to find the same thing that you guys have now, which is such a ha- like a job that you guys genuinely love. So yeah, yeah, that super influenced me as a kid. I was like, yeah, this is how work should be, right? Uh, and then and then another thing was uh, I feel like because you guys were brainstorming a lot, and then I was there included, and you guys would ask me for stuff also. I remember you asked me for like a name to name like some to name some <laughs> event, and then I said pocketful yeah. some toy event. Oh, yes. You asked me, Kobe, give me a name for like a uh, toy event randomly. You said yeah. that, and I was like, and then I gave you random ones, and I was like, how about pocketful? And then someone, and you were like, oh. And then you guys actually used that for an event, right? We did. We did. Yeah, it's like um. We did use the so because of that, I feel like like I gave out an idea. You guys liked it. I feel like that's something that's stuck with me until now. Like mm-hmm. I feel like giving thinking of ideas and then having them ex- executed and then if it like helps another person, it makes me feel good. Yeah, when I when I give you guys that idea and I heard that it it came to life as a kid, yeah. it yeah it amazed me. So until now kind of feel the same way so something creative uh now i want to do the like, if if yeah i want i want to do something that needs you know thinking creativity uh yeah. something that's art art in a way and gaming is for me is kind of like an art yeah so. and actually maybe it influenced you also like when you approached me about the gaming channel the stream it's called co-beast right so follow him on co-beast <laughs> On uh, Twitch, if you're on Twitch or Facebook, and I, so you yeah. actually told me that you had the branding plan for it. You had the logo, and then you yeah. had ideas for contests and all that. That really made it more real for me. Like it wasn't like just a whim. Like I felt that you really thought about um, what you were gonna pursue. So that made a big difference also in us letting you do it because yeah. we felt yeah. that it was serious stuff, right? There, so. 
well, I want to share this um, also with with moms and dads who have kids who want to do gaming. I mean, of course, it's different for every family, but one thing that also helped us decide to let Kobe do it is because um, when we were discerning, I actually talked to someone from Google. Uh, uh, I won't name her anymore because I'm not sure if it was okay. It would be okay with her, but you know who you are. So she, I talked to her about um, Kobe wanting to pursue gaming, and and she just said, uh, "Kobe is an early mover." So, so gaming is a, of course, it's booming right now, but in the Philippines especially, it's it's like still so much happening and a lot of potential still. So uh, you're an early mover, and this is the right time to get into it. And then what struck me the most was she said, Janice, do you remember when you set up your first mom website? So Mommy, Mommy Mundo started off with a website called Mommy Pages. I was the second website in the Philippines on parenting. The other website was a forum called Mom, Mom's, Mom Exchange. And we were just, we, I was the second one. And she said, do you remember when you set that up? And then I said, yeah. And she said, what were people saying? And everyone was also saying, ano yan? Diba parang, what's going to happen there? May kikita ka ba dyan? Whatever, whatever. And I just did it because I wanted to. Because of the passion. And I, I felt that um, it was my way to reach people and all. And when she said that your son is, is following the footsteps, whether or not intentionally, but you're in the same path. So, you know, it could be. Um, who knows what will happen to your channel and all that you're doing now, but uh, it's yeah. a dream. And if you put your heart to it, uh, I guess what counts is the experience of getting there. And if you make it, then good, diba? Right? I mean, mm-hmm. ultimately, um, you follow your passion and your purpose, right? So, yeah, at least and then, right. that's what matters. That's right. And, um, and of, I want to also remind you, we also talked about this, that your work is not always fun, right? <laughs> work is not always going to be fun. Um, yeah. That's why I also intentionally started sharing with you my problems and challenges at work. Because mm. sometimes you see the fun side, but you don't, of course, we won't tell you, naman, oh my God, Kobe, and dami kong problema, ganyan, ganyan. So you only see like the fun stuff, like the event is complete and there's so many people and you don't know what went through before that or all the challenges. So this was a lesson I knew, found out, I we realized with some parenting advocate friends of mine that we also have to share the real stories behind the challenges of mom, mom life because we kind of make it look easy and fun when really uh, there are also a lot of challenges. So that you also know that life is also it takes a lot of effort and um, hard work, right? Yeah, I have to agree. Um, even though gaming looks like you're just playing games, it's, yeah. even, it's, it's not always fun. <clears throat> it's also yeah. not always fun, especially if you're doing it every day. It's like mastering yeah. a craft. So I think any work is like that. But what matters yeah. is if you love it, right? If you love the process, it matters. Right. 